What's up dudes? What's up players? So my good friend The Needle Drop, he made a video asking everyone what kind of albums changed the way they felt about music and stuff like that and I, I told him that this album, uh, Vertex by uh, Buck65 was an album that changed the way I listened to music for sure. I got this album way back in like 2003 I think, I was 23 years old. Uh, it was originally released on a cassette tape where he originally just recorded it himself straight to a 4 track recorder. The elbow keeps hitting something. And yeah, it was released on cassette in 1998. Uh, Warner Brothers picked it up and uh, re-released it in like 2002. They released this and his uh, four other past albums he did before they re-released his major uh, major label debut with the album Square. This was his third release originally on his uh, what was it called now? Four Ways to Rock. And so this has been released on Warner, and it's just this lo-fi, cerebral, kind of abstract, avant rap kind of thing. It's got a lot of do-it-yourself flavor. And yeah, it's, it's pretty much bubbling with uh, creativity and innovation and stuff like that. Buck 65's flow, he's got this very kind of soft-spoken, sincere kind of flow with him. He's got a straight-edge attitude too, he doesn't drink or do drugs apparently. He used to be a, uh, a baseball player before this, but I guess he had an injury and he had to turn to hip-hop. And uh, He's from uh, Mount Uniac, Nova Scotia in Canada. I think he used to work in a uh, roller rink there or something like that, or his first show was in a roller rink. The art on here is pretty much just scotch tape on some paper with some doodles, some steel drum, close up. It's very cool, very, very innovative album, very unique. Uh, 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 themes on this CD involve him being a centaur or some sh shit like that. He's a centaur and his dick's really big and then he's got this other song about his family and his sister. He's got a three-part song about a baseball game. It's three songs spread out over the album about different endings, like one's about the beginning of the game, mid-ending and stuff, and being the pitcher and like standing out in left field, being the hard hitter and stuff like that, all this kind of baseball metaphors. But yeah, Buck 65 is a pretty cool guy. Like he doesn't sound pretentious on here. He sounds really honest. He sounds like uh, the kind of guy who would never like underestimate your intelligence and stuff like that. He's got a cool little stream of consciousness flow. It's very abstract hip hop. Helped me get into other music and listen to music differently, especially like anti-con rap and stuff like that that I'm really into. Just changed the way I kind of thought about hip hop, basically. So it made it seem like it didn't have to be all about posturing and gangsters and bitches and shit like that. It could actually be creative and have some actual, like, you know, thoughtful stuff on there without being like cheesy and dramatic. Buck 65 never really gets overly emotional in here. It's just pretty much just thoughts off the top of the head, very creative, very like innovative beats. Like the music on here, the music he's rapping over here is really good too. Like he does all his own scratches and production. He's got all these weird kind of uh, David Lynch samples and stuff like that. Like it's very cool, very kind of, I don't know. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's a pretty flawless, brilliant little record, I think. Vertex by Buck 65. He's a Canadian. I'd right, check it out.